What is going on guys? It is your boy MinerMyFM here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the beginning of a brand new sequence of videos on this channel where we'll be looking to identify and discuss potential wonder kids for Football Manager 2021. Now, FM 2021 has finally been announced and we're obviously all buzzing about that um, even though we don't know about any new features yet. But just for a second, let's forget about new features as personally, one of the things I enjoy most about the beginning of a new Football Manager cycle is stumbling across fresh wonder kids before they become too well known and get plastered all over the internet and uh, we start signing the same players, the Espositos and the Almadas and the Palacioses of the world. Uh, you know, we start signing them on every single save. So this year, I want to do something a little bit different and rather than stumbling into it sort of blind and, and coming across players by chance and through scouting, I want to actually be a bit more proactive and try and predict and identify some players that could well become wonder kids on the next game and we will be exploring a few of those players before the game's release and potentially and hopefully throughout the, the first sort of weeks and months of, of the game being out as well. So. It's important to mention that there are no guarantees that any of the following players uh, that feature throughout this series will definitely become Wonder Kids. And some of these players might not even make it onto this year's game if they're too young, if they're younger than 16. Now I'm aiming to keep these videos nice and concise for you guys. So we'll look at a handful of players in each video, probably based on different positions around the pitch, to be honest, to, to start us off. And we'll see how we get on and um, see how the videos are received by you guys in the community. I'm really hoping it will go down a treat, but we'll see. Uh, having said that, let's get stuck into looking at some of these potential wonder kids in the defensive area of the pitch for Football Manager 21. So the very first player that I want to bring to you guys uh, on this series is a young man by the name of Billy Cometio. Now, he is currently making a what can only be described as a meteoric rise through the ranks at Liverpool, and he's considered to be one of the backup centre backs for the first team at the tender age of 17 years of age, uh, which might actually explain why Jurgen Klopp has not opted to sign a replacement for Dayan Lovren, who obviously left the club in the summer. Uh, and it might actually be one of the contributing factors as to why we allowed uh, Key John Hueva to, to, to leave the club and join Wolves as well. Now, at 17, he stands 6 feet 5 inches tall. He's an absolute monster and honestly, physically, this guy is incredible. His stature for a 17-year-old is just... It takes you back when you watch him play, honestly. In fact, Klopp's right-hand man, uh, his trusty right-hand man and sidekick... Pep Linders has actually described Cometio as, well, first of all, a proper talent, but said that when he saw him train with the first team throughout the summer, he said he has incredible physicality, particularly for his age, which um, I think is one of the very first things that I guess you would look for in a defender coming through the ranks. So he actually only signed his first pro contract with Liverpool in August 2020. And so even though he might be reluctant to leave the club on a permanent deal in the first season or two on FM21, uh, a loan deal could well be on the cards, depending on which club you're managing. I'm actually pretty gutted that I didn't take Cometio either on loan or on a permanent deal during my save with Le Havre in France. I think he could have done a, a real job for me on that save particularly. Um, so he's someone I will definitely 100% be trying out on the next game. Now, as mentioned before, he is only 17. Uh, he's a French national born in Lyon in France. And I'm only aware of him playing centre half at the moment. I'm not sure if uh, he has the potential to step into maybe a holding midfield role. I couldn't see him as a fullback. I think he's, um, he's, he's too physical to, to, be, uh, to be wasted out there. Um, and from, from what I've seen of him, he is an aerial threat. So just to go over some of his key strengths then, he's obviously a very tall player, a very, very strong player as well. He's very quick for his size as well, guys. He is no slouch at all. Um, he, he has the ability to leap off the ground as well. Uh, not only is he tall, but he, he can get up for headers, um, which is a very nice, very nice blend to have. 
He's particularly strong when it comes to marking players. His defensive positioning is very good and he is very strong in the tackle as well. So I would 100% be keeping my eye out for this young man on FM 2021. So next up is a player I've had the pleasure of having at my disposal on a couple of different saves on, on FM20 over this last year, uh, most notably when I was managing Le Havre in France. And this is someone I really believe could become a wonder kid on FM21 given the required training and first team minutes. Uh, and he goes by the name of Abdullah Bar. Uh, and boy, is he a promising, promising talent. So when I took the job at Le Havre on FM20, I quickly sort of paid attention to the development centre as I know about the reputation of, of the club for, for developing young players. And languishing in that development centre was a 17-year-old a or 16-year-old at the time, Abdullah Bar. And uh, I very quickly decided to promote him to the first team where he enjoyed a lot of success playing at both ball playing defender and at half back for me. During the time I was playing him, I noticed that his strengths were particularly his pace and fitness. He's a very mobile player, can get around the pitch and, and break up attacks for you or operate as that ball playing defender um, that can cover for you when your team's half the pitch. Uh, because of his athleticism, he can stop balls in behind. Um, he's a very fit player as well. So um, you won't have to have to rest him too often. He will be in the side quite frequently, uh, even if you're playing a couple of times a week. I know obviously fitness is a, uh, a not an issue, but it's it's something that us uh, FM players uh, have to have to struggle with. I would say at times during our saves, especially when we're managing clubs with limited resources. Uh, his technique is very very good as well for a defensive player. Um, he's, a, he's a very technical player indeed. He's very strong in the tackle. Um, you know, he wins a lot of a lot of his duels, which is very, very handy, handy in that part of the pitch, uh, particularly when he was playing at halfback for me as that kind of pivot player. It's, it's integral, really, that he is aggressive in the tackle and, and breaks up attacks before the opposition have a chance to counter. Uh, and his decision making for a young player is very, very good. So he makes a limited number of mistakes, which is always good, knowing that you have a player that you can depend on in, in the centre of the park there. It is worth noting, as I mentioned before, that Le Havre are known around the world for, for being a, a leading producer of top young talents. Um, and they've been doing just that for decades now. So players such as Lasana Diara, Paul Pogba, Dimitri Payet, Steve Mandanda, and more uh, more recently, sorry, both Benjamin and Ferlan Mendy, uh, both fullbacks, have come through the ranks at Le Havre and have moved on to, um, to some European giants, really. So when you hear about a young talent at this club, it's time to sit up and pay attention. Whilst we are on the topic of clubs renowned for producing top young players, it is more than appropriate to mention Feyenoord over in Holland, who take credit for the development of this next potential defensive wonder kid, Denzel Owusu. Uh, since he joined the club at the age of 15. Now, this is another player that I discovered rather quickly in the development centre on FM20 during my time as the manager at Feyenoord, a save that I really, really enjoyed. I'd recommend it to anyone. Now, his primary position is centre-back, but he isn't the tallest defender, Owusu, so there is scope to deploy him as a limited right fullback. Personally, I, I wouldn't, but you know, depending on how you play, you, you could could deploy him there. Uh, alternatively, you could look to play him at holding midfield um, if you would rather have taller central defenders. Again, all depends on how you like to uh, set your team up. But personally, I have a suspicion myself that he could be a very, very effective centre-back in a back three, uh, particularly in a possession-based system where you need mobile defenders carrying the ball out of the back. He's very athletic and I believe he could really thrive in a system like that uh, due to his strengths, which we'll now come on to. So he's a very pacey defender, very mobile, gets around the pitch very well and could uh, sweep up and, and, and cover against balls in behind on the counter-attack. 
Uh, his concentration was very good, which is, is nice to have really. Uh, helps to limit mistakes, which you often get from young players. Um, although he isn't a tall player, he is very, very jumpy. He is a jumpy boy, this one. So he, he makes up for his, his lack of height uh, as a central defender by, by jumping his height instead. And uh, his actual heading attribute on the game was particularly strong. Um, so he is actually an aerial threat, although he isn't the tallest player in the world. He's, uh, he's very tough in the tackle and positions himself well to defend, which is always handy. And um, he, he marks the opponent very tightly and, and very efficiently as well. So they are just a, a few of his strengths. Certainly a player I would be looking out for on the next game. Um, you know, the number of Dutch wonder kids that were produced on, on FM20 was, um, was ridiculous really. And I, I, I really believe that with the right training and uh, game time in a first team, maybe at a smaller club than Feyenoord or maybe Feyenoord itself or a club of that stature, who knows? But I do think that uh, this is one that really has the potential to, to kick on on the next game and, and become a wonder kid. Well, that brings the very first instalment of my FM21 potential wonder kid series to an end. It has to be said that I've really, really enjoyed making this video actually, guys, and would love to make many, many more of them uh, on the run up to the launch of FM21 and beyond. So uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you thought of this first video and uh, do be kind enough to smash that like button if you have enjoyed the video please guys i'd really appreciate it alternatively if you've got any recommendations on how i could improve the next videos that are to come uh, do also leave me your feedback in the comments um, and i'll always take it into account and take your feedback on board i'd really love to hear from you as well if you've used or are going to use any of the players from today's video uh, so do give me a shout in the comments on that Alternatively, if you do come across players of your own or have come across players of your own that you think uh, will be fantastic on FM21 and should make the list, you know what to do. Post them below so that we can all check them out. Uh, don't go hogging all the Wonder Kids to yourselves, guys. Don't be selfish. Share the love and all that. Finally, in some of the future videos in this series, uh, we will be featuring players that also appear on some of the articles and databases created by my good friend Espen over at Passion4FM. So uh, do go and check those out as well, as I know he is just as interested in Wonder Kids as we all are. If you're new to the channel though guys, and you want to see some more FM content from me on things such as Tactics, Wonder Kids, and also some Let's Play series, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on so that you don't miss a video. But until next time though guys, take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching the video. Cheers.